All right, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Let's uh, just go ahead and reset the game. Doing this with SNES 9X because uh, ZSNES has graphical issues. 1993. really say your standard super scope game because there was like six of them ever created. Very good. But uh, let's go with a one player game. And because there's some story to it, we're gonna do training mode. Battle game just kicks you straight into the game and then time trials is just well, exactly what you'd say. Uh, the differences here is uh, the Falcon is the base standing tank, which is your mech, you know, on the title screen. Uh, the Tornado is actually post... well, I can't say post game because it's running through the exact same stages, just with different, you know, combat style. But we will be doing the Falcon first. It's a little bit slower, but... Uh, it's pretty good. Hello, I'm Rolla, and I'll be your training instructor. Before you can compete in a battle game, you must train. If you follow my instructions, you'll clear every level. The first lesson covers the use of turbo shots. Well, I'm not going to do the voice acting for this because... It's really just basic shit. I should actually probably turn turbo on. Oh, I turned it off. Whoops. But the basic idea is, you know, this is how you play the game. Uh, basically all I'm doing is holding down the shot, because that's all I've got right now. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, and I really wish the background music for this section wasn't so repetitive. Basically, uh, defense, you know, shoot down enemy fire. I think you can fail it if you don't hit some- if you get hit too many times. Though... Let's not bother with that. I mean, I could try to destroy this. But, um, you do chip damage compared to what we did with the red one. So you're better off to just uh, do the objective. I th think I did sit spend enough time to just destroy the fucker at one time. It's actually tricky to do without um, intercepting the six shots. Energy bolt basically just let it charge for about a half second, and then it'll. Um, Blink. Well, it's not so much that you can't defeat them without energy bolts, it's that, uh, it's not a good idea to try, really. Oh, yeah, you gotta be careful, because, uh, these fish mechs actually try to, um, actually evade you. Or, you know, you could just completely miss what I just did. Just missed by a couple pixels and it's like, ha, fuck you. Actually, I think you're right. Uh, I think it's the same with uh, the light gun for this NES. This is basically just defensively using the energy bolt. Which, actually, you can... Some enemies, you can actually use just the turbo shot. But since there's so much downtime between shots, you'd just be wasting time. I'm curious. Can I? I cannot. Okay. Uh, 
I was trying to prove a point and just made an ass of myself. Yeah, I mean, most people still do carry around, well, not carry around, but have a um, CRT sitting in their house. And this is just teach you about the treble shot, which is all three bars, and then you just shoot a big fucking shot at them. You don't need a treble shot here, you just have to hit the weak spot finish them off. I mean, if you wouldn't spend the extra, like, two to three seconds to do it, I mean, it's not gonna stop you. But, just this standard energy. You smug bastard. I don't like this fish. This smug face taunts me. the bomb lesson. Well, hit the cursor button on there. In my case, it's the right click. And this is an enemy that is just destroyed instantly with the bomb. <laughs> kind of funny, actually. And we gotta do a frankly piss easy fight against Rolla, which that's not even her ST. But that's neither here nor there. Get rid of her shoulder armor with the bomb. Oh man, I thought I was gonna shoot her in the tits there. That would be funny. Uh, got a weak spot there. You can tell the uh, condition of an area that you hit based on how it flashes. Blue means it's still healthy. Red means it's about to get destroyed. If you can hit, if you can turn their main body or where the the cockpit is, red. Shooting them, it'll just kill them outright. Techniques vary, yeah, aim and shooting. Go on to the battle game and win! Now we'll start voice acting. Because there's not much else to the game, really. These fights take like a minute to a minute and a half with the Falcon. Oh, ho, ho. who dares to fight the battle game with the greatest battle in the world? Guido, once again, first of our foes. Remember to charge the laser's energy bolt. Only use turbo shots to defend. Oh, ho, ho. the youngsters have returned. Go, I'm busy. I can't be bothered to babysit. Stick around and I'll beat you quickly because it's time for me to have lunch. Pretty much. But this game is actually directly a uh, Nintendo game. Uh, Gunpei Yukoi was um, the main dude behind this one. Yes, Mr. Game Boy. Gunpei Yukoi. Really shooting him in the face is a good idea for this fight. reason to not just blast him in the face. Oh, there we go. He, uh, knocked off his, uh... Oh, he hit me once. As you can see, the, uh, joint near his hips was red, basically, right off the bat. 
but timing a shot to get that is uh, kind of tricky, to say the least. So I wasted my trouble shot, so I burned my bomb. <laughs> you can hold up to five bombs at a time, by the way, and you get one for every stage click uh, you click. Shoot! I won't admit that I lost. What a, what a bad run of luck I had. I should have beaten you like a dirty rug. You're lucky again this time. Shit. You got the shield. Select the shield from the cursor icon, press fire to use it. The shield will protect your SD temporarily from enemy attack. Uh, depending on the actions you take in the fight, you get a different uh, prize for winning. Like if you use your bomb, you get the shield. I don't know all of the stuff, but, you know, it's a thing. Woo ee! You're the one who beats my brother Guido at the pile of the PSD girl! Why? Your SD is nothing but a bucket of boats! I choose not to believe Brother Guido was defeated by a pitiful pile of scrap like you! Trell, be careful. This guy's quick and really, really strange. Ooh wee! You make fun of me! But you must realize with whom you deal! I will avenge my brother as I destroy you slowly, very slowly, and I will savor every moment! As you notice, Mike called me Trell, and that's because on the title screen, if you um, press L-A-B-L -L on the controller, it'll actually s let you set a name, which is kind of neat. It's one of the uh, hidden Easter eggs from getting one of the endings. But basically what you want to do is, uh, you want to hit him in the body where you can. I mean, you can knock off his, um, his tail and his appendages. But they don't really do much for you if you do that. Oh, his tail's about to be destroyed. And I missed. Joke's on you, dickhead. Alright, you need to s slow down just a little bit. Oh, wow. I thought I missed him there. I thought that was going to be a yellow shot. No, it was a blue. But yeah, as you can see, if you know what you're doing, you don't need to use a bomb. Ooh, <laughs> please, please spare my life and return from this day. From this day forward, I'll take you as my brother. Asia. If that's what you want to call him, psychic monkey. I am Diane, pilot of the ST Wall. I would like to see the face of my opponent while you still have one. Do you see us, Diane? We're rivals. Watch out, Trout. <clears throat> His round hands are really tricky. He's also equipped with an anti gravity engine so we can float. My duty is to protect the Mongolians. I do not like to fight, but I must protect the coma. Now I must teach you how sad the battle game really can really be. Uh, his hands, like Mike said, are basically shields. So, I mean, you can shoot him in the, the joint there and blow the thing off, but at the same time, eh, shit. It's actually really difficult to do that. With the bombs like that, you can just, um... Just shoot them down like a regular, uh, shot, really. If you can manage to get an energy bolt in there while he's, uh got his mouth open, you can do some really heavy damage to him. But getting the charge to happen fast enough, and getting the shot off, is... not easy, actually. Ah, 
you can aim at the, uh, the base, you can actually do some decent damage to him, but, uh, he's typically... Hey, that interrupted my shot. As you can see, he's typically protected by the wall, so... Well, if you remember the Sony press conference from fucking years ago, attacked the massive crab in its weak point for massive damage. And this fight is pitiful. He actually might beat me. Nope! Ah, I actually managed to get a treble shot off on him. Hit him right in the fucking forehead. Two minutes. Are you fucking kidding me? I have failed. You can do what you wish with me and my goal. You've misunderstood. The battle with the Chiefs only so we can reach that place. I see. I'm sorry this battle even took place. You see, those who've challenged me before only wish to have my goal. I hope you had success in your quest to challenge that place. You got the neutron beam. Select the neutron beam with the cursor, fire. Weapon uses our energy. Don't have it. Fire and damage any ST. You gotta be careful with it though. Because it kind of leaves you vulnerable. You were the one who wants the battle for me? To me, you appear to be a spyless to me. What? I'm sure you will courage it, but it's battle. Let's see this courage. From here, we will fall towards the earth. The battle does not finish. The friction and heat from your re-enter will. Does not finish. Yeah. Let us go. Idea to wait until he uh, stabilizes like this. To try to get a shot off on him. You don't want to hit him in the wings because it they basically act like shields. I mean, if you can manage to get a shot like at the joint, then you can actually knock them off. Believe that thoughts to me, children. But you are finished anyway. Now you burn up and you're gone from this world. <laughs> Feel the pain and die. He seems to be right. There's no way we saw our fall. Could this be the end? Okay. We're not injured, but we're trapped by the Earth's gravity and can't stop our fall. You should leave now while you still can, otherwise you'll be burned on re-enter. I came to help you. There's no time to waste. If you wish to escape your situation, how can you help us? Who, who are you? I'll explain it all later. Right now, I'll tell your ST free of Earth's gravity. I've got something that <clears throat> I'm certain will help you in the future. It's the V system. Remember. I'm sure. Let's hurry. Got the beast system. Increase our attack power. We'll always remain centered. But we lose fucking energy. Or we just not bother with it. Trained hard for this moment. Trell, it looks well protected. The shield can defend from any attack we have. 
and that bazooka looks extremely powerful. You violate all of them. I cannot accept that standing tankers piling a gun or not one. This time I will prove myself. I will revenge my previous loss. And this falcon will join the junk heap of <clears throat> that is all that remains of those I have defeated. With the exception of its head, they will probably be displayed as my trophy. And if you remember this guy from um, the first game, Battle Clash, uh, he was actually the Tower of Babel boss there as well. Oh shit, I was aiming for, I wanted to hit his gun, but... Because you can't destroy it. It's actually not a bad idea to try, frankly. Oh, there it goes. There goes most of his offense. Though he does still have the ability to charge up and basically throw uh, key blasts at us. As if this game isn't anime enough as it is, right? Oh, hey! Knocked his, uh, shoulder pad off. But if we keep this up, we can blast off his entire right arm. Not that it particularly matters, because his left arm can do the same thing. So basically the same effect. He's just the next shot's gonna kill him. If I hit. And we lost! Well shit. <laughs> How about that? That happened. Basically, we just need to do that, but better. How it spies that shield it is. Wish we had one. Try shooting with the treble energy bolt. Destroying that bazooka. <clears throat> if you do, you lose his main soul. Counting on you. Hey, you didn't call me troll there. That's weird. But, uh, I guess the game's not designed to know what you did wrong. Just give you generalized fucking tips. Shit. There goes his gun. Try to take off his arm too while we're at it. No, I don't want to take off his hand. There goes a shoulder piece. Okay, I actually kind of expected that to not go well. Let's just, uh... Oh! Shoot him in the dick, his entire left leg falls off. Okay. <laughs> there goes his other leg, and... You'd think just grinding across the ground at 70 miles an hour would uh, do some hefty damage to his fucking ST. Evidently not. I think 117 kilometers an hour is roughly 70. I think. How can this be? The old style ST defeated me? How can a team do what only one is meant to do? It's been my dream to override the ST which probably gonna not the same. To achieve my dream, I rejoined Anubis as leader of his gods. I built an ST to replace Baron in that way. I knew the two of you would surely kill him. The Master has fled this place. Anubis has fled now to Mars with the ST Thanos. Be careful. There's a reason for Anubis' rebirth. Got the wide ball. Probably because we lost. More destructive power than the other weapons. Won't fire unless you charge it. And since we have full bombs, we might as well use at least one in the next fight. <laughs> Be 
can't find Thanatos anywhere. Has the swine somehow escaped? What was that? <laughs> I've been waiting for you, child. Finally, Anubis, you've shown up. Now we'll defeat you and bring back the peace. Prepare yourself! <laughs> it is you who must be ready, child. To start your crying, for I will take my time as I destroy you. You don't really need anything beyond, you know, the one bomb we need to burn, because otherwise we're not going to get anything for it. Uh, this guy's generally pretty easy. I mean, you just want to shoot him in the dick a couple times. Stops his leg attacks. You can get away with a mostly offensive strategy on this fight. Limits. We were having some fucking weird flashing. Can I get a travel shot off, please? Never mind, I don't need one. I cannot believe I have lost. There must be some mistake. You deserve this. You've made my Rest in peace. Or should I say, pieces. Curses. I cannot allow my men to come this way. I will take you with me to the deepest part of the world. What? What's going on? In the battle game may be over, but the fighting is not. We must now battle to reach the real enemy of your people. Go to Jupiter now, quickly. Wait, wait a second. This is all so sudden. Tell me what it, what it is I have to do. You are trained for this. When the time comes, you will know what to do. You must trust yourself, for you are the only hope to save your world. See you again sometime, I hope. But for now, goodbye. And I didn't use a bomb. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't need it. And yeah, as you can see, uh, Rola is definitely in, uh, subverting... Well, Rola and Mike are subverting the damsel in distress stroke there. So, take that. <laughs> Did you see what I can do? My power can reduce this, you to bits and pieces. This is our new enemy. Who and what are you? I am the SD pilot Danpa. If you want to know more, you must first defeat me in battle. However, I doubt you will have that I will have to tell you. <laughs> General strategy for this guy. You will see his body will be flashing red. You do not want to do that. You do not want to destroy the abdomen. I'm not demoing it. But I will just say, absolute fucking crazy salvo. His name is Don, not Damp. Haha. <laughs> Small but important difference. But yeah, if you just shoot him in the face he, with treble shots, he goes down pretty easily. I got him in the leg there, but it'll be okay. Oh, that's cute. And I shot him in his front 
left four leg in it still killed me. Huh. That! I cannot believe I'm such a loser! Okay, let's hear your story. Who and what are you? Oh, my aching man. We're a race alien to you. We began our invasion of your Earth, setting up a new vicinity ST Thanatos as our puppet. I know nothing more than this. I'm telling you the truth. Please believe me. Sure. This guy sucks. This is one guy we definitely do need at least one bomb on. Maybe two to three, depending. Hundred. Are you truly from Earth? I was old enough to believe the natives were more intelligent like you. Your kind just does not deserve the beautiful planet you call home. This ST is extremely big. Look closely at his right hand. It's a handgun. If that thing hits us, we're done for. Incredible. I just can't believe that such a tiny ST can carry two people. Why? His design is just absurd. How do you experience what a real ST design can do? Maybe. I think I'll just simply crush you. Crush the teeny tiny ST. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't really need anything here. We'll be fine. Alright. So, what we're gonna... Yeah, as you can see, I didn't fire that. That was not a manual shot. But if we shoot a bomb at the end of his blast, that should do a hefty amount of damage. As a matter of fact, yep, goodbye shield. Basically, we can, uh... Fuck him up with impunity now. Uh, if we can hit the flashing part there. And I missed... Oh, wow. I didn't miss with that travel shot. It held me surprised. Let's see if we can destroy this... Gun. No. All right. We could turbo shot him to death, but uh, one energy bolt all it took. like you make me so miserable. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell Mama about you. My wife doesn't take kindly to bullies. She will take care of the likes of you. This is it. Your lives will be terminated soon. Got the homing list. Four bolts to home in on the enemy. Nothing's visible to miss. It is junk. Because you can't shoot your other weapons while it's firing. Mama, here they are. They're the ones that did this to me. They made me look like this. Oh, my little boy. I will not forgive them for making Papa look like they have. Oh, no. I thought we'd seen some big SDs before, but this one's gargantuan. Be careful, Trout. Behind that armor, there may be something hidden. How rude of these children. They ignored my beauty. Now you shall see. Now Mama's gonna teach you a lesson, your final one. Good luck, Mama! Okay, the thing that Mike was alluding to with something being uh, behind that armor is if you shoot her with anything above a turbo shot, it reflects. So you basically have to be really careful. Uh, the general gist is you just want to take care of her appendages. You know, don't miss them if you can help it.
but uh, don't shoot the body if you can help it. Just an energy bolt to the weak spot. Yep. And now we're running into some frame rate issues. So if you can destroy those things. Whoops. Shit. Yeah. Like you saw there, I actually just uh, deflected that treble shot with a, um, just a volley of turbo shots. Gotta waste it. Shit. It's very much a defensive fight here. Ah! Yeah, this ST doesn't have much in the way of its own offenses. But she's still fucking obnoxious. So, of course, she waits until I get the full fucking treble shot. There we go. Now she releases those things, and I missed. Lovely. We're basically on the last phase of this fight now. Fuck it. Bomb! fight just takes a while, honestly. And we're in critical health now, too. Great. But, hey, there we go. Two and a half minutes. Ugh, I can't believe it. I've lost to Earthlings. Oh, shit. Just you watch out, though. Soon our fortress out toy will drop from war. And your pretty little Earth will have no future. Soon comes the end. <laughs> well, we got our bomb back. Morning. Yeah, the problem with this emulator is it pauses if you go into the background, which I suppose is good for a game like this, especially if it happens in combat. But I kind of wish there was a cursor walking in Z-SNAS. My name is Anubis. I control this fortress, Altoria. You are the aliens who defy me. What is this? What's going on? This still looks exactly the same as Thanatos. Thanatos. I made him and his pilot. He was created from a part of me. Make no mistake, though. They were not my equal. Together, they were my royal servant. And what we fought before was a clone. Mm, you seem to have some intelligence. You're very close. However, you show a lack of intelligence to defy me. Soon, you'll, <coughs> you'll be very sorry for having defied me. Again, we don't need any of these weapons. Most of them really aren't all that useful. And if you remember the gist from Thanatos, Vigorous fights fairly similarly. With the exception of... He does an after him. Fuck it. Let's bomb him. Eh, I shot him in the knee. Not where I wanted to hit him, but whatever, I'll take it. I'm gonna go 
was his leg. Now you've done it. You've made me angry. I didn't think that you would. I would appear to be this for a long time. However, you should see me well, so that my memory will burn with you after death. This is one fight I'm expecting to die at least once on. Unlike the one where I just completely died because of in one missed fucking shot. <laughs> what do you think of this great body? It's too late now. The two of you must be eliminated by my own doing. What a scoundrel. You really, <clears throat> I really wish you wouldn't do that. What? Rolla, why are you here? I'll tell you later. Just look at your energy gauge. Ah, thank you. You saved our lives. You'll be okay now. If you want to talk about saving, you two are the ones who can save the Earth. Please, you must destroy Vivorous. Rola, why did you win? You've betrayed me. You've betrayed us! Rola, you have sealed your own fate. But first, I'll dispose of these two. Then I'll decide what to do with you. I'm guard Anubis. I can't let you do what you want. Trell, let's go! Alright, the general gist of this fight is to play defensively, and then when his mouth's open, shoot a single energy bolt into them, because that's all the more you're going to get. One energy bolt will destroy the mouth, which will actually make things a lot easier going forward. So, the general idea is play defense. This is why I'm expecting I'm going to die at least once, because you see the amount of damage I'm taking here? And I've lost my cursor. Fuck. And I think I'm dead. Okay, it takes care of that. Yep, I'm dead. And unfortunately, that's an emulator glitch, particularly on this stage that I've noticed that it will loop the sound that you got killed on on the game over screen. Not sure why, but it does it. Oh, you can only damage it with an open mouth. When mouth fires, intercept the shot with an energy bolt and it'll take damage. Watch the way he wiggles the tusk in the corner of his central mouth. Try firing the tusk with energy bolt. See what happens. Look out, money.
It's hard to see a white cursor with this much busy shit going on. I lost my fucking cursor again. But yeah, I'm basically expecting to die a couple times here, because this guy fucking sucks. And he doesn't really change what he has to say. I mean, if I could charge the wide bomb, I probably would. I don't know why the emulator glitches like that. Yes, Mike, I understand. And I missed. Missed again. Fuck. Take up the fucking eyes. Okay, sure. I tried to shoot a bomb three fucking times there, at least twice. Frankly, I feel like dropping a save state. Because this transformation sequence is fucking long and annoying. Too, but whatever. 
Let's go for it. Again, fuck. Now I hit the fucker. Maybe there's all my bombs, though. There we go, I finally hit the bastard. Damn it! fed up with this boss. Fuck you too. Can't see my goddamn cursor. I'm dead. <sighs> Spent over 10 minutes on this fucking thing. we go. Frankly, if you can get rid of those little eyes on the side, it tends to help you out. And of course the treble shot fucking missed by like pixels.
I can't see my cursor. Play is way too fucking busy. Finally! Fucking A. I have lost to alien creatures. I cannot believe this! It should not have happened. Ah! Fucking A. Thank you, Mike and Trell. I mean, you prevented a serious mistake from happening. We lost our home planet through the foolishness of those in charge. And we've wandered into around since, looking for a new planet. Then you found the Earth. Yes, Anubis didn't care about the natives of Earth, or himself. So he sent a clone to seize control and prepare for invasion. But it's all okay now. Anubis has been destroyed. But now, I should say goodbye. What? What's happening? <laughs> it's not over yet, puny Earthlings. Who are you? My name is Typhon. I am the true lord or ruler of Eltoria. Anubis was just a pawn I used while I rest in cryogenic sleep. His assignment was to control Eltoria, to pilot and defend the ship, and locate a new home. And maybe we found a suitable planet. A beautiful place we could call home. He was to lead the invasion, take control, then wake me. Cryogenic sleep? Yes, my youth and beauty cannot be wasted by the years of interstellar travel. Well, now, I have wasted time. That is something else I have <coughs> no desire to waste. Come now to the fortress core. That is, that is, if you think you can save your puny Earth. Or this female. We got the lightning bomb. An essential part of the next fight. And we got one of our bombs back. Oh boy. Here we are, Typhon. Where's Rolla? If you can destroy this Giga Desp, you will find her. But you're now wasting my time. My precious time. Now suffer as you wait for me in darkness. Okay, we need the lightning bomb. And the wide bomb doesn't hurt. The lightning bomb doesn't do any damage. But it does enable us to see. And with the wide bomb, we want to fire it. And that should have taken out all of his uh, dummies, which is what I aim to do. And bam! You're finished. Release Roller now. I never considered the name would defeat me in a fair fight. But fighting fair any longer is a waste of time. And now it's time to have some fun. Look at me closely. See my gorgeous body. See, he's only at 80% health. There's reason for that. Rolla! Oh no! What have you done to Rolla? I'm fine. Typhon's using me to guard Gigadesp's weak point. Shoot me! It's the only way to destroy Gigadesp. Hurry! You don't have time to think about it. Don't trade me for your homework. Rolla does have a point. I will not waste any more time. Let us battle once more. Don't really need anything here. 
but I will be dropping a save state because there are two endings here. One for saving her and one for killing her. We will try for saving her the first time. And... The reason why you don't want to do that is because, uh, as you can see, we just healed him. Right, we can get rid of his shoulders. That'll give us a place to uh, aim as we try to avoid shooting him with a treble shot. Basically hit him in the glowing spots. I really wish that he didn't have his left arm, his right arm, I should say. Okay. Now we just have to wait for the opportunity to hit him in a weak spot, which happens to be... Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Really? And there you go. That is the good ending. That could have went so much easier. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't kill us. Thanks a lot, friend. I really do appreciate the fact that you were able to destroy Giga Desk and save me. Not everyone can do what you've done. You're an expert ST gunner, a marksman. Now return to Earth. Return as a hero. Return as my hero. Way to go, Trell. Seems I chose my partner well. I wonder if we'll ever see Bora and that other Altorian again. Let's go now. Let's go home. And that just takes us to the credits, which do not change. But yeah, if you uh, shoot Rolla, it just skips immediately to this phase. So, yeah, we basically killed our girlfriend. Oh, that... Fucker. Thing is, now he's not in mobile, so... It's actually a little harder to hit in this phase now. But, there we go. Super simple. And that's just how Tori explodes. And because I don't want to watch the credits yet, we have another playthrough to do. Wow, my ranking went down. 
because of that. Because of how many times we died on Vigorous. Holy shit. I wonder if there's a speedrunning community for this game. But, if we go into training mode again, because there's more. And then this time we're going to do SD Tank. Eh. SD Tank, yeah. Standing Tank Tank. Tornado. Hello, I'm Carol. I'm the pilot of the SD Tornado. And this is a test to see if I should accept you as my gunner. Hey, I expect a lot out of my partner, and I won't accept anyone just for, just anyone for the job. This SD uses a rapid-fire and powerful weapon called the Turbo Shot. Its best feature is the ability to do immense damage to enemies with its Hyper Shot. Oh yeah, it'll fire regular Turbo Shots, but they're too weak to do any real damage. You must defeat, defend your, <sighs> defend yourself though, because the ST's armor is relatively weak. To succeed, you must bring us back alive. You must use the tornado's abilities effectively. First, we'll learn how to attack. Turbo shot, yeah. Same as an energy bolt. Can charge up to ten. Yep. We can see the gauge. This is basically the fragile speedster run. Very much a glass cannon. This st. And because we technically don't know about how to chain our attacks yet. This one teaches us to use a hyper shot. Two energy bullets and then hold cursor and hit fire. The more charges you get, the more damage, the larger shot you'll do. Like as you can see, the color, blue, yellow, purple, Oh, wow. Okay, why am I not doing any damage? It's because I have to use a an absolute hyper shot? In which case, I'm gonna wait till the fucker stops. Okay, Trail, time for your third and final lesson. This one will be a simulated battle. Just like for real, if our energy runs out before our opponents, we lose. I don't like the lose. If you can't win in this simulation, I won't take this. Now remember, now remember these instructions and you'll win. Charge and stock energy bolts. Use the cursor and have a uh, tutorial. We can basically get away with charging up a hyper shot. Really? Congratulations, partner. You did a good job gunning for the tornado. The real battle begins now. I'm counting on you, Troll. And we'll definitely, and we'll get some different dialogue this time, of course. But the fights are the same, basically. I, Garam, the strongest ST in the world. Who dares to fight with me? His attacks are strong, but his large body makes a perfect target. Stay calm and be sure to defend. Watch for a chance for the fire hyper shot. Oh, how unusual. A female battle. Just because you're a woman doesn't mean I'll... <clears throat> I'm going to make it easy for you. To do that would be discriminating. Wow. <laughs> Social commentary. So be prepared. I'm very, very strong. But this is another case where we can just basically get away with 
huge charge. Blast him. Ah, shit! The hyper shot missed! Hit us a few times, he needed a ton of fucking damage. I have lost. I can't believe this. I gave this fight. You should be grateful. Rats, rats, double rats. Really? Oceania. Standing tank, Garam. How could my brother have lost your pit? Did you somehow cheat? Be careful. Zesty's narrow, which makes it hard to hit him. If you can charge an energy bolt and shoot, you give him considerable damage. Ooh, wee! I think you can beat me so easily. You'll see. My attack is strong. This is basically another one where you basically have free game to charge while he's, uh, dicking around. See ya, fucker! Took about the same amount of damage as last time, too. You must forgive me. From now on, I will obey only what you say. You will be my boss. Please let me call you boss. I am Diane, the pilot of ST Wall. Who dares start a meaningless fight with me? Diane, we'll battle with Carol, Eugene, and Trell. Trell, play safe from this one. It's difficult to prevent its attacks. You can fire many shots at once and wait for the bullets. You get very close. You can fire a hyper shot to defend. I do not like the battle, but I will protect Mongolia. I will fight with you. You will also learn a valuable lesson on how few our fighting can be. A lot of these fights basically boil down to um, really letting your shit charge and giving them a chance to uh, turn and think he can hurt you. Oh hey, that time I hit him in the mouth. It's actually kind of hard to do that. I'm like, oh, I hit, I've missed the missiles. <laughs> I fucking hit him, though. <laughs> I have lost completely. Uncle, yes, yeah, now history. Don't worry, we're not here to take Mongolia away. We've been used by Anubis, that's why we're here. What? Can what you say be true? I fought for my people, for Mongolia. I took Anubis' off. Soon, you'll be free from Anubis. You'll, you have our word. You can count on us. We've got the V system, we know what that is. It's incredibly dangerous to use it with this ST.
Hey, what's going on? This isn't a kid's playground, so beat it. Watch it, Trail. This one moves really quickly. There's no way to damage his wings. Don't waste your energy trying. What's this? You want to fight me? Okay, it's your choice, so be prepared. Take the punch with me now. Let us fall down to the earth. Hurry, we can be burnt by the heat of re-entry. Let's go. Don't need it. I say, did I blow off his leg? No, but it did send him in a fucking spiral. Basically, direct hits to his torso are the best way to fight him. 23 seconds. Hmm, you're good. You beat me, but don't rejoice too much. Because the hit of re-entry will get you. Sorry, Russo. <clears throat> Too bad you didn't know what other Cesty can do. Tornado can easily escape this situation. What? I can't believe it! Wah! Terrible deliveries. This is why I'm not a professional voice actor, guys. <laughs> His head will join my collection. Its weapons will be most similar to ours. We can shoot turbo shots and energy bolts. Make sure to protect them. <clears throat> protect us well, otherwise we might not defeat them. What? Another ST with a pilot and a gun on the same? For this I didn't plan. However, with that type of ST, the pilot and gunner must work as the perfect team. If they do not have perfection, they do not have strength. I will not lose to an unconventional ST. I'm sure I'll become a part of my collection. We don't exactly need the V system for anything. I don't know why the game keeps giving it to us. Here goes his gun. Basically, at this point, it's pretty much exactly the same as fighting with the Falcon. It's just we have more firepower and less defense this time. And that didn't kill him. Well, I figured it would. See ya, bitch! Anubis and ST theft us have escaped. Make sure to return alive. I demand a rematch, and I will be there. Really? Let's battle! Bye. Hey, hey, Anubis! It's time to come out and party! Or do you want to play hide and seek? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, uh. You know of my existence? Who are you? You're just a clone. You have no right to even speak. Trell, you have to defend us now. Come on, I'm counting on you. What? Fine. You will be disposed of soon. Don't stop and think now. Come closer. 
and then they'll make you disappear. <laughs> Where it didn't do any damage to him. I did throw. No, I didn't. What the? F Let me throw a goddamn bomb. I died because it was reading my, uh, my quick clicks is fucking, oh, you want to shoot a hyperbolt? Okay. Be careful, Trail, his entire body's covered with weapons. Something can do severe damage. He's not even afraid to use parts of his body to attack. If I have a hyper shot before he starts his attack, you can easily intercept his rocket punches or kicks with one turbo shot. You can charge as many energy bolts as you can and be easy to destroy him. Good luck! Yeah, and it's really rare to see him actually throw his fucking uh, body parts. Damn it! That's what I wanted to do. See ya, fucker! I can't believe this. I've been defeated by these little ones. I remember you now. You traitor swim. Okay. This is where you find out <coughs> about, um, Destroying his abdomen if he didn't do it as tornado. I'm Falcon. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see the power of the S my SD Arachnus? Now we'll break you into pieces just like the rock. Trail, be careful. I have one bit of advice you absolutely must keep in mind. It's important that you do not attack his stomach. To do so would be a mistake. If you destroy his stomach as he'll attack so hard, I don't think the tornado will survive. How is it you know me so well? Tell me, where have I seen you before? Yeah, this is basically another situation where you just want to charge and wait for the speed to um, match. Like now. do it right, you only need to hit him, like, three times. And I didn't mean to hit him in the leg, but I got away with it, so... Of course, I said if you do it right, you only have to hit him three times. So what do I do? Not do it right. But that's okay. We killed him anyway. 30 seconds. That must be some kind of mistake. Bro, we have to leave him now. He's in no further concern. Our next enemy's on Saturday. Wait, pilot. You're familiar from somewhere. I should call you, but I 
cannot. Not the disruptor ball. Disrupts the ST's ability. It shows weak points. that beat Arachnus? Why it looks so small and weak? Look at ST Cobra. I designed the best ST for myself. As an opponent, it would be too easy. Be careful, his shield absorbs energy. Take care of when you fire an energy ball. Huh? I've seen this pilot somewhere before. Hmm. Well, I can't remember and it doesn't matter. I would suppose to be very good. I don't want to use either special weapon here. No real need for it. Although we... If we... I think I timed that right. Yeah, I destroyed the shield. So... Blow off his, uh... And bam! See ya, bitch! 20 seconds. Uh, what? You made me most miserable. There's no forgiveness for you. I'm gonna tell Mama. She'll teach you a lesson. Really? Go figure, we go to Uranus, and the boss we fight looks like ass! Mama, here they are! They're the ones who made me look like this! Oh, my poor, poor little boy! Do not worry, my darling, Mama will avenge this misdeed! Dro, don't detour them, just make you sick! Now, let's be careful. This ST reflects any shots that do not hit a weak spot, so aim well! Mama, haven't we seen them somewhere before? Yes, she is familiar, but I can't seem to remember from where. Don't worry, though. I'll ask her questions. Many questions after I beat her. Yeah, if you didn't learn that from the tornado run, the game outright fucking tells you about it here. Ah! Those. <laughs> Medusa letters. <laughs> Damn it, Jay. Hey, I got a direct fucking hit that time. Damn. Honestly, didn't expect. Now we get the weird penis things. <clears throat> See ya! I hardly took any damage from that, which is actually kind of surprising. If I could be completely honest. <sighs> I feel defeated, but the forges will soon be here. I told you we'll draw a better board, but you'll be finished. This girl is a puny little earth. <laughs> ah! Warning. 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 It's a good middle ground. I mean, if you don't know what you're doing, it's hard, but if you do, it's pretty easy. I mean, you're a little late, but this fight on the first run took me about six or seven tries because I'm a fucking moron. Uh, uh. 
Hey, hey, Nubis! I've returned and I'm here to defeat you, so be prepared. You impertinent little wretch. Not only have I betrayed us, but you've returned in the company of an alien. So be it. I will rid Altoria of you and take the Earth myself. No, you won't. This is just like Thanatos. Well, it's the same exact fight as, uh, the other run. Only this time, we can more easily distinguish which one of these fuckers is the real one when he splits. Throw a fucking bomb! It should be. Nope, it wasn't. Okay! <laughs> that one. <laughs> wow. Injured me. I congratulate you on that. But fear my retribution. So try to survive my mighty gunfire. What was that? Sister, you're late! Sorry, kid. Just, I, I'll tell you later what the way me. But now, check your energy gauge. Thanks, sis. With that, we can finish Nubis and SD Vividurus. And you must. We cannot take the Earth as our own just because Nubis wants it. An intelligent life form is already living there. Use your power to stop this selfish greed. Lola, Carol, you would betray me? Your people? You two are both Altorian. Fine, I don't care anymore. First, I will dispose of this rebellious pilot, then I'll take care of Lola. Afraid not, buddy. You're the one who's going to be destroyed. Okay, Trell, show him what teamwork can do. And I'm going to drop a save state. Because I have a feeling I'm going to die a couple times. And she basically gives you the exact same hint Mike gives you. Okay! Yeah, okay. Fuck you. I was actually trying to shoot a fucking energy bolt there. Fuck! Lost my fucking cursor and it didn't... Okay. Fuck!
Okay then. No, I want to. I want to load. No, not save. Fucking a. Take care of that. Don't forget my gunner. Yes, the gunner. We owe you an explanation. We lost our home planet and it was our own fault. Since then, we wandered until we found it. Trav, we found your Earth. Yes. Even though we were intelligent, there were intelligent beings there, a new that sent his clone to steal it. We couldn't destroy any of us by ourselves. We needed your help. So, Trav, we brought you here. But it's over now. Anubis is gone, and so... Sister! What's happened? <laughs> Who are you? I'm Typhon, the true king of Fortress Altoria. I was at rest in cryogenic sleep until my servant, Anubis, found a new planet. A beautiful place to call our home. What we had taken control, I would have woken this way, my beauty and youth would last forever. The real king? You, you kidnapped my sister. Where is she? If you want to see her again, come to the fortress of Kor. And you, Earthling, if you cannot defeat me, you will never again see your home. I will not waste any more time. Quickly, I am waiting for you. Got the lightning bomb. Yep. Same deal as last time. We don't have a wide bomb this time, so unfortunately we can't get rid of the eyes as quickly as we did last time. We've come, Typhon. Where's my sister? If you can destroy my Giga Desk, you will know. But for now, we are wasting time. Let this battle begin. We need the lightning bomb. And I'm gonna save the disruptor. Probably not wrong. What are you doing with my sister? Answer me! <laughs> I thought this would be a waste of time, but I'm enjoying this. Gaze upon my gorgeous body. Open your eyes and look at me look closely.
Rola! Oh no, what have you done to my sister? Don't worry, kid. I'm okay, but Typhon's using me to hide Gigadesk's weak point. Shoot me! It's the only way to destroy Gigadesk. Hurry, there's no time to think. The lives of all the people on Earth are at stake. This is taking too long. I will destroy your puny SD first, then I'll take care of you, Rola. Who knows? Your own sister of the Earth and might even do it for me. We got the energy unit? Huh. But I want the disruptor bomb and I want the energy unit. But let's do another save state because there's a good ending, bad ending split. Going for the bad ending first this time. missed. Honestly, destroying uh, Rola is actually something that makes this fight harder, if you ask me. Never mind. Killed him in three hits. Three hits that did damage. Colony just curse blows. And credits. But let's load state. And not be reckless this time. But because there's so much more power behind the uh, Falcon, the Tornado, I don't keep getting them mixed up. You can actually kill them a lot faster. up on here, we'll probably kill him from here. Yep, there we go. Good ending achieved. And that's with using the fucking energy. If we didn't get that, we would have died. Ah, uh, you get the uh, bad ending by killing Rolla. Thank you very much, my friend. I just can't tell you how thankful I am that you, just, that you defeated Gigadesk and saved me. Yeah, Trell, thanks for saving my sister. Not just anyone could have done this. You're an expert, a true marksman. Now it's time for you to go home. Return now to Earth. Return as a hero, and my hero. It seems I chose my partner well. See you again sometime, maybe. But yeah, really all you get is a little bit of dialogue for the good ending. But that's the game. And you, I'm pretty sure the only reason why I would have ever played this game is the fact that my uncle owned it. And... I actually really enjoyed it. Now, this is another one of those games, kind of like Star Tropics, that uh, I never actually beat until I was an adult. When I was emulating it.
Yeah, an hour and 45 minutes to beat the game. As opposed to two and a half hours to just do the final dungeon of Final Fantasy 2. How about that shit? <laughs> hardware <laughs> you would have to play through the game four different times and make sure you don't fuck up just to see the different endings which the credit sequence doesn't change at all I mean seriously the only difference is you get some dialogue from Roland and then from uh, Mike and Carol depending on which ST you're using Considering how this is 1993, you know, having voice samples is pretty impressive. Granted, yeah, like the NES had something like that with a skater die in a couple other games, but still, it's pretty good. Smash TV did, didn't it? But didn't the uh, Super Nintendo version not have the voice clips? No, I'm honestly not sure. Oh, well, there's something that it, that's different. Lola and the ST that you're piloting will be there as you're moving back to where, you know, zooming in on Earth. But aside from that, there's not really anything different. If memory serves, I accidentally clicked out. Oh, yeah, it gives you your time. say I yeah, didn't continue at all because I used save states, but I only died once? Maybe twice this time through? And this is the reason why I don't like SNES 9X. Some games, the sound just is garbage. Well, you can hear it. These samples aren't going through right. Oh, I did once on Thanatos. That took 53 seconds, and <laughs> no, I, I died a couple times. 
switch. Minute 12. Major Panther, huh? Wonder what the score, what uh, rank that gives me. This real battle mode, which is not fun. But because I'm curious, seventeenth, second lieutenant. But at any rate, I think that'll do it for me for now. And there's not really anyone that's uh worth hosting right now on my follow list, so I think I'm just going to cut it now. I will see you guys some other time. Have a good one.